A zine is a self-publication that's homemade and it mimics the idea of a magazine, but they're really focused around people's experiences and self-expressions. And there's tons of different topics, art zines and literary zines, and a lot of them are kind of political. It's really hard to spill your guts to someone, but if they like take it and they read it and it means something else to them, it's just a way to connect with a person with it being less intimidating. That's what's so great about zines is you don't really have to be a good writer and illustrator because the point is to express yourself and your feelings in you know, whatever kind of form that comes in. It's not professional and clean and polished, it's just kind of raw in how you really are. I like to capture a lot of feelings as a way for me to process them and then as a way to relate to someone else. You wander around all day and you just collect all these little things like self-doubt and regrets, every little thing throughout your day. Everyone needs a way to just unload that. So this is just my way of unloading all the crap I've kind of picked up. I like to play with different techniques the binding and folding and size and format. And then once I have the format down, then I collage on top of that, just little scraps of paper and cover the whole thing and make like a nice base. And then I paint and mix media on top of that to create a more textured background. And then I'll create little illustrations and I'll type out my text that I then lay on top. And then once the original is created, I scan that in and then edit it a little bit. I like mixed media because you don't really have to know how to use the medium to just play around with it and see what it does and if it works or if it doesn't work. And I love that part, using art supplies but not following the rules of the art supplies. So it is kind of kind of like a club. Everyone kind of knows what zines are and the power that they have behind them, so everyone loves them. But it's super diverse. And that's kind of what I really love about it is because there's so many different kinds of people and so many different types of stories that you wouldn't run into through normal life. And then you have these festivals where everyone's kind of grouped together. So I have a pretty long list of people who I send to regularly and who I write with regularly. And then they kind of encouraged me to put it out there and see who wants to trade. And there's surprisingly a lot of people who will just want to trade because they just want to share and they want to read what other people are wanting to share too. <laughs>